survey of British literature right where we began, in the realm of satire and parody, with a very serious takedown of the concept of being serious. Oscar Wilde's comic masterpiece of 1895, The Importance of Being Earnest, is a text that ridicules the everything, the society that it portrays, the form that it takes, its audience, and even the language in which it is written. It hollows out just about everything, all values, social mores, and the character's own understanding, and turns earnestness from a quality into just a name that characters try on. It also ridicules that romantic mystery identity story, the question of origins that 18th century novelists were so obsessed with, that you might have some hidden story, and says, this is just a vehicle for young characters, the protagonist, to have fun, sow their wild oats. It actually has no real meaning, that origin story that even Darwin, of course, was entering into. Here, language itself becomes a vessel of comedy, wit, of ridicule. It has actually no meaning. It is just a way of demonstrating lighthearted, uh, lighthearted jokes and brilliant cleverness. Wilde himself said that part of what he was trying to attack was this idea of being serious. Being trivial is, an, is to him a, high, a higher goal. There is, of course, something very serious about what he is trying to do. He is lampooning in the high sat satirical tradition of the Restoration, of Jonathan Swift and Pope, the society that was supporting his own success, the kind of people who would fill the seats at the theater, the Victorian mores that had developed over the previous generations here are taken to task. Marriage and having the right family connections is just a kind of show. It's a game and something that can be engineered or, or uh, manipulated with just the right handbag, if you will. Also, the class structure and the portrait of society as this entire organic web becomes an object of further ridicule for the playwright. It tries to show that this serious, self-involved, self-possessed self uh, um, concern and introspection of the Victorian era is itself rather hollow. And what ought to be considered is the brilliant or witty or lighthearted take on, on, uh, on language, thought, and how easily the brilliant genius can, can manipulate and change perspectives. This is the perfect fin de siècle, end of the century er, er, Edwardian uh, text that leads its way to perhaps nihilism or perhaps a more self-conscious, um, more, more self-critical take on society that will emerge in the 20th century. It is also true that society in a way had its revenge on Wilde. And although this text has long been a standard of English theater, Wilde himself was in many ways cast out. Shortly after this play opened to rave reviews and it was a hit, Wilde entered into a scandalous end of his life that was rather tragic, partly on account of actually this play. So society does take its revenge, even as Wilde himself spoke very trenchantly, caustically about his own disrespect for society, a disrespect that he put into the mouths of his, of his extremely comic and humorous characters. Mm -hmm.